Hey everyone, it is a rainy day here today. What's it like for you? I always like to know what people are experiencing and feeling and let us know if you're watching, just drop in a comment or some feedback because that's always great too, to know that we're just not live streaming to the internet with no one on the other end. So <clears throat> today I thought it would be great to have a conversation around beliefs and this comes off a lot of conversations that I have with clients while I'm coaching them, but specifically a coaching client that I had yesterday. And it was pretty clear that this particular coaching client had some very well entrenched, self limiting beliefs around time. So, in other words, he had beliefs that led him to behave in a particular way around time that wasn't serving him. And so then we started a whole conversation about where do we get our beliefs from? So the majority of our beliefs are actually embedded in our psychology between when we're zero and seven approximately. And most people believe that your DNA is expressed then, your beliefs are embedded then, there's a whole bunch of your psychological framework that's actually laid down for you who later on then becomes an older person, an adult, a professional in the workplace. And the interesting thing about these beliefs and, and DNA that's expressed at, between those ages of zero to seven is that it's like a coding of a computer. And some of that computer coding really, really helps you as you get older. So some of that computer coding is what's responsible for you having a great relationship or it's what's responsible for you being a really good leader. It's what's responsible for you taking care of your health and well-being. But equally, some of that coding and some of those beliefs that have been laid down and some of our DNA that's been expressed in those age groups actually is self-limiting and stops us from being able to achieve all of those things that I've just outlined. So really our job as becoming more evolved humans or becoming more constructive leaders or whatever our goal might be in our life, our job really is to work out which parts of our code are serving us and are helpful and to do more of those behaviours and to work out which parts of our code that's been laid down that's actually unhelpful, it's doing us a disservice, it's getting in our way and it's stopping us from being able to become the version of us that we want to become. So in this case, the leader yesterday that I'm talking about wants to be someone who can fit all the requirements in, wants to be someone who uses the calendar, wants to be someone who manages time exceptionally well. But there was a series of beliefs that he had around time, i.e. there's never enough time, that was stopping him from being able to do that. So very often in your world, if you are not achieving something that you want to achieve, if you dig down in deep, you realise that the reasons you're not achieving what you want to achieve are because of self-limiting beliefs that sit beneath the top of the iceberg. And it's those beliefs that you have to dig into, work out what's serving you, work out what's not serving you, and actually create a change. There's no point trying to change at the surface level. You have to be able to dig deep. That's why people say they talk about doing the work. To become an exceptional leader, you've got to be prepared to do the work. Well, what is the work? The work is digging down into your beliefs, working out what serves you, what doesn't serve you, and making changes to become more effective. Because at the end of the day, most of the leaders that I work with, in fact, nearly all the leaders that I work with, would all agree that they want to be the most effective version of themselves that they could actually be. So if you're interested in these kind of conversations or you would like to start a conversation like this in your organisation with your leaders and managers, please contact me on 3 wsbeingmorehuman.com.au or you can drop me a DM and I'll respond to you. Thanks so much and have a fantastic day. Cheers.